Okay, guys, I apologize in advance for how expired my makeup is. Okay, so it is currently 10.44 at night. I sat down to do my makeup around like 5.30 p.m. I was on FaceTime with Natalia. I was doing my makeup. And when I hung up on her to film this video, I got carried away on TikTok. And now it's 10.44. So, yeah, um, that app is dangerous. And yeah, my smile lines are really intense. So let's get this video started. Okay, so today's video is actually a really special one. This one has been requested for so long, but I'm finally getting around to doing it. I'm sorry it's taken me so long. But today we're gonna be talking about the best fragrances for your sign. Basically, we're gonna go through the 12 zodiac signs and I'm going to recommend some perfumes that I think you guys would love depending on your sign. Now, of course, this is my opinion. This is not fact. This is just how I feel. I think these perfumes match really well to the different signs and honestly, I went based off of my personal perfume collection. I haven't smelled every single perfume in the world, so I don't have a long, crazy list, but I did narrow down like three perfumes for each sign. And again, like I said, this is my opinion. This was just a fun little video I wanted to put together and I'm really Really curious to see if you agree with me on any of these scents like if you're a Taurus and I mention one of these perfumes and you're like oh my god that's my favorite perfume and I'm a Taurus I think it would be really fun to get conversations started in the comments tell me your favorite perfumes let me know your thoughts do you agree with me do you disagree uh, yeah let's get into it okay so I'm gonna try to breeze through this video because there are 12 signs and I have three perfumes for each so I don't want to be here all night we probably will be but I'm gonna try my best okay First up, Aries. Aries is the very first sign of the zodiac and they are the most intense out of all signs. They're extremely fiery. They're one of the fire signs, I know, but they are the fieriest out of the three fire signs. They're very passionate, very intense, impulsive, can tend to have a bit of a temper, but they don't really linger in that temper. They get through it pretty quickly. It's like explosive, but then it calms down. <laughs> and they're also the most hilarious sign. All of your Aries friends probably make you laugh often, honestly. And so when I was thinking of the perfect sign scents for Aries. Honestly, really warm, intense, fiery scents come to mind, of course. I'm actually gonna put up a picture of the first two because I don't currently own them. The first one is Tom Ford Noir, and I've actually gone through two bottles of this perfume. It's a really beautiful perfume. I haven't repurchased it because I feel like I don't have the confidence for this perfume. I mean, I've purchased two of them, but I always feel like I'm not the right person for it. It's an extremely sexy scent. It's very intense. It lasts a really long time, which Aries love. They like to wear perfumes that feel strong, that they can smell throughout the day, and this one is perfect for that. It's also pretty unisex. There's leather in this scent, amber, vanilla, patchouli, nutmeg, black pepper, those really intense Aries kinds of scents. So this one is perfect for you Aries out there. The other scent that I think is perfect for you guys is by The Fireplace from Replica. This one is really intense as well. It's not for the faint of heart. I don't think it's for everyone. It's definitely one that you have to smell before you buy because it is very intense, very masculine. It has notes of chestnut and wood which are really intoxicating and strong and it really does linger. But it also has like a little bit of that vanilla in there and it's just deep, intense, and warm which is how I honestly would describe an Aries and I would say if you're a luxury kind of Aries which a lot of you guys are you like the luxe you like the pricey stuff replica is definitely a more luxe perfume just like Tom Ford and then the last perfume I want to talk about for Aries is Gucci guilty now this one screams Aries to me as well this is honestly a steal your man perfume and if there's a sign that's gonna steal your man it's an Aries they can't help that they're so fun and your man wants them. <laughs> Just kidding. This one is different than the other two I mentioned because it's a little bit more feminine, a little bit more classy and woman-y, but it still has that warm amber patchouli to it, which makes it so perfect for nighttime. Like I said, very, very sexy, intoxicating. You will definitely get compliments when you wear this scent. It's 100% a head turner and it is absolutely beautiful. Just like sex in a bottle. All right, next up we have Taurus and I feel like it's on the complete opposite end of the scale. Tauruses are similar to Aries when it comes to their temper. They're kind of stubborn. They are the Zodiac's bull, so they're like very stubborn. They can be very short temper. They have that bull-like quality to them, but they are nowhere near as intense as Aries. Tauruses are earth signs, so a lot of the scents that they gravitate towards are earthy, woody scents, florals, especially rose. Tauruses are ruled by Venus, just like Libra, so they like that romantic quality to scents, which is why they love rose so much. But Tauruses in general are very practical. They're very stable. They're usually pretty predictable, but they're extremely comforting. They never have like intense emotions going up and down. You just get 
you get like good stability with a Taurus. And honestly, the first perfume I thought of when I was putting together this Taurus list is the Versace Crystal Noir perfume. I spoke about this in a recent favorites video. This perfume is very earthy and woody. It has sandalwood in it. It also has amber in it. But this scent is definitely less intense, yet it's very strong, if that makes sense, which is very much like a Taurus. They're like the strong, silent type. While an Aries is a strong, Screaming type, <laughs> Taurus is the strong silent type and they like more dependable perfumes and this one is extremely dependable. Definitely one you're gonna get compliments on and just like that sandalwood is so beautiful and such a gorgeous fragrance for a Taurus. Check it out. Okay, I have to mention my favorite rose scent. I gotta be honest, rose isn't my favorite scent. I don't know if it's the Aquarius in me but it really isn't at the top of my list, but the Le Labo Rose 31 perfume is my favorite rose scent ever. Out of all the rose, like strictly rose perfumes, this is the best one in my opinion. Le Labo is a pricier brand, but honestly, you Tauruses love that stuff. Earth signs and fire signs, they love expensive shit, and Tauruses love that luxe life as well, and Le Labo is one of those like luxury, elegant brands, but this one in Rose 31, is the most, oh my god, this is such a Taurus. This is Taurus in a bottle. It is elegant, extremely feminine, but very elegant, grown up, but also lasts a super long time. These Lalabo perfumes will take you through the day, like hours and hours of wear. So stunning. Okay, the last scent I have for you Tauruses out there is Chloe Nomade. I don't know how to say this perfume. Nomad or Nomade? I'm not, I'm not sure. <laughs> I feel so dumb. This perfume is actually very simple just like you Tauruses. It's not too complex, it doesn't have too many layers, but it's very earthy. The notes are lychee, not lychee, like lychee. I actually don't know what a lychee is. I know what a lychee is, there's something in my eye. The middle notes are freesia and the base note is oak moss, which I feel like that's the main note that I smell. The kind of woman I picture wearing this is someone with a badass job title, a really nice car, and a lot of money saved in the bank. Like a lot of money saved. She has a whole last savings account. There's something about this scent, I don't know if it's because my mom wears it, but I feel like it's so motherly. Maybe that's what it is. But it, it, it really is a beautiful, stunning scent. Perfect for a Taurus. Also, by the way guys, I hope you know, this is just really general and like dumb and fun. Everyone is totally different and also everyone's birth charts are totally different, okay? I have a Scorpio moon, a Leo rising, I'm an Aquarius. My chart is all over the place. I have a lot of different personalities. So just keep that in mind. But okay, next up. Oh my God, I have to go a little bit faster. I have been here for a long time already and we're only on the third sign. Okay, next up we have the Gemini. Now, as an air sign myself, naturally I really like Geminis. They are the most hated sign of the zodiac. Geminis and Scorpios. And I don't know why, I mean I do know why, but I really love them. And Geminis are just so much fun. They're very airy, they're light, they're down for anything. Your Gemini friend is the one that you can call at three in the morning and you're like, hey, you wanna go with me to the gas station? And they're like, yeah, come pick me up. They're bright, they're bubbly, they're fun, but they're also very, very bold and very intense. Do not mess with Gemini. There were so many scents that came to mind when I was thinking of Geminis because I feel like their Geminis are all over the place. They get bored very easily. I feel like they're the type of sign that has multiple perfumes and not just one. I, I don't think Geminis have a signature scent, although my friend Melissa, she's a Gemini and she's been wearing the same perfume for the last five years, but she has a Cancer Moon. So, you already know. But generally, they like to bounce back and forth between scents and they honestly like a little bit of everything. I instantly think of Versace Eros Pour Femme um, when I think of a Gemini. This is such a fun, fruity, lightweight scent. It has lemon, pomegranate, bergamot, jasmine, peony, but it also has musk, woody notes, and sandalwood. Honestly, I don't really feel like the base notes pull in that much. I honestly get fruity, fresh scents, but there's something about it that's just so happy. I know fruity scents are generally pretty happy, but this one is just very uplifting, very warm and happy. I instantly feel in a good mood whenever I put this on. It's like a pick-me-up perfume, and that's kind of how I feel about my Gemini friends. The next perfume is incredible. I'm gonna put a picture of it right here because I don't know where I put it, which is kind of a pricey perfume, so I need to find it. Byredo Sundays is Gemini in a bottle. I love it so much because it is a fruity, 
airy, uplifting scent, but it has that mix of cotton candy and musk in it. That perfume honestly reminds me of like a fresh, fun day on, on the boardwalk. You're walking, you're feeling the breeze of the ocean, you're eating cotton candy, you smell the freshness of summer in the air, somebody's eating like a, like a juicy apple right next to you. It honestly gives me those feels, but I love it so much because it's not too sweet and it's not too fruity. It's honestly the perfect in between and I think that Gemini's would really like that mix. It's kind of like a perfume that has two personalities, honestly. It's awesome. Marc Jacobs Daisy Oh So Fresh Twinkle is honestly the perfect perfume I feel like for all air signs. It's such a fresh, lightweight, like lavender violet type of scent. Those, oh my god. So, oh, I love this perfume so much. The only thing I don't love about it is that it doesn't really last that long. It doesn't last as long as the other two that I just mentioned, but it's so fresh and beautiful that I, I feel like I will continue to purchase this even when I run out of it. I just love that violet scent. Out of all those lavendery violet perfumes I've tried, this one is my favorite because it has that fresh element to it. It doesn't feel too floral or too heavy. It's just so perfect. It, it Twinkle is the perfect name. There, it has like a twinkly element to it. And it's perfect for the springtime, the daytime. It is so beautiful. And I feel like Gemini's would like this bottle. Okay. It's cancer time. It's cancer time. Okay. Cancers. Am I right? <laughs> Whoa. So the Cancers are the crab of the Zodiac. They are the homebody. They're your friends that never leave their house. They love to be home, but they also love to be surrounded by nostalgic, romantic, yummy, warm, delicious, sweet scents. I feel like out of all the scents, Cancers love their sweet scents. They kind of like things that remind them of home. So even if it's like cookies, like fresh baked cookies, fresh linen, that yummy cotton. They either like sweet scents or clean, fresh home scents. And that is why I personally think this scent is perfect for cancers. This is from the brand Clean Reserve and this is their skin scent. I'm not gonna lie, I hate the fact that this perfume is called skin. Like, mm, I wanna smell like skin. I don't know, that is so weird to me, but I get it. I freaking get it, let me tell you. There's something about this that smells like skin in like the best way possible. It's described on the bottle as a floral musk. I smell something so sweet in this perfume. It's like a fresh, very clean, very everyday scent that when it starts to dry down, it honestly warms up with your skin and it gets so sweet and yummy. I guess it depends on your skin, but on me, it just gets so yummy and sweet and it's the perfect, perfect everyday scent. It's not extremely long wearing, but it is a scent that I do smell throughout the day, but in a very light way. It's like a barely there scent, but you, but it's there. It lingers. It just seems so cozy, and I feel like cancers are very cozy. I don't know. I like it. Okay, so Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue is a very, very water sign scent. I feel like this is also perfect for Pisces. Not so much for the Scorpio gal, but Pisces and cancers, I feel like you would love this perfume. It's very, very fresh. This is a boat trip a ocean vacation. I wouldn't say it's a tropical ocean vacation. Like not so much the Caribbean, more like the Mediterranean. You know what I'm saying? There's hints of lemon in here, apple, bamboo, jasmine, white flower. Honestly, the main notes that I smell are lemon and bamboo. It's such a fresh, aquatic, watery, like almost salty scent. It's perfect for the beach. I think it's perfect for cancers, especially since you guys don't like to go out much. You can have the beach in your house. Okay, and then I have to mention this perfume. I feel like cancers are going to love this. This is the Skylar perfume and it is Vanilla Sky. It is honestly like one of those gourmand scents. It's vanilla, it's sugar, it's coffee, it's yummy as hell. This reminds me honestly of like a super, super sweet, sugary vanilla latte. Like it has that little hint of latte that doesn't make it too vanilla, too overpowering, and too like sickly sweet. It's not sickly at all. Every time I put this on, my dogs go crazy. They are constantly smelling me. They're all about this perfume. You honestly are gonna wanna eat yourself. It's the perfect homey, cozy, just like snuggle up by the fireplace kind of warm, delicious scent. And I feel like it's a cancer scent. I don't know. It's an everyone scent. It's delicious. Okay, the moment 
all you Leos have been waiting for. So Leos are another fire sign. They're very intense. They are so much fun. They're honestly the life of the party. You will not have a good time at a party if a Leo isn't there. They like to be the center of attention. Leos are ruled by the sun, so they feel like they are number one always. If you ask any Leo what the best sign of the zodiac is, like they don't, they don't hesitate. They're like me. I'm the best. They're really intense, warm, charismatic. They can tend to be a little immature, you know, and they know what they like. They like the expensive stuff. They like the popular stuff. What is the most famous scent? What is that cold scent everybody wants? That's what a Leo wants. I immediately thought of this perfume when I thought about a Leo. And, and honestly, it is my most expensive perfume in my collection. I have never in my life, not even in my wildest dreams, have I spent this much on a damn perfume. And honestly, the first time I bought, this is the second time I buy it. The first time I bought it, I was like, okay, I'm gonna buy it because there's so much hype around it in the perfume community. I watch a lot of perfume videos. This is a cult favorite. There's so much hype around it. Honestly, I bought it because everyone was saying that it lasts like six months on the skin. And I remember telling you guys like, oh, it's great, but it's not like the best thing ever. And once I run out of it, I'm not gonna purchase it again. That was a lie. As soon as I ran out of this perfume, guys, okay, I ran out of it. I tossed it in my bin of empties, which was full of a bunch of crap. It had a bunch of empty makeup products in it. And like three days later, I went to go put something into that empties bin again. And my entire empties bin smelled like this perfume and I had the cap on it. It was completely empty. And I was like, damn it. And honestly, I, it's, it's right here in front of me. The cap is on and I smell it so intensely. It is so... Intense. This is truly the most long wearing perfume I have ever come across in the history of ever. And it honestly is, it's a car payment. This is a freaking monthly car payment. But it's true what they say that a little goes a very long way and you do get your money's worth because it is so potent and so intense. Like you could even tell when you, I don't wanna spray it because I will smell like this for six months. But when you spray it on your skin, you can tell that it has more of like an oily residue. It's not an oil or anything, but you can tell it has more concentrated oils in it versus another perfume that just like disappears when you put it on your skin. Like it's mainly alcohol. This is like intense oily fragrance. It is so beautiful. But anyway, besides that, I feel like this is such a Leo fragrance because they have the best of the best. They like they like the best. And this is the best. Oh, by the way, this is um, the perfume Baccarat Rouge 540 from the brand Mason Francis Courage de Jean Paris. I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's called Baccarat Rouge 40 and it's a very simple perfume. Like there aren't many notes. It's saffron, jasmine, amberwood, fir, resin, and cedar. It's warm and sweet without being like gourmand sweet. It's very elegantly sweet. It's intense and ambery and just, it's very, very intoxicating. And I have a freaking dupe for you guys. Guys, I'm so excited for this. This portion of the video is gonna be a little bit longer because I'm very excited to give you this dupe. So the other day, Amanda was at my house and she was doing my hair and she walked by me and I was like, hey, you're wearing Baccarat Rouge 540. But it actually wasn't that. She's like, no, it's not. I'm wearing the dupe. And I was like, what do you mean? What's the dupe? And she told me about this brand called Alt. I have never heard of this brand in my life, but they're called Alt Fragrances. And this is crystal number 23. It is an exact, an exact dupe of Baccarat Rouge 540. And this is like a $40 perfume. That shit is $200, guys. And it smells the exact same. Obviously, the staying power isn't the same. The other one lasts days and days, like actually days. But this is still super long wearing, like it lasts hours on the skin. And it's a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of the cost. Definitely check out the alt fragrances if you want to try Baccarat Rouge 40, but you do not want to literally destroy, destroy the bank. I'm not really into hardcore dupes like this. Like this is some makeup revolution type of dupe. Like, damn, like that's like a, like you just like jacked that set. But hey, it'd be like that sometimes. I'm sorry. Another great Leo scent is actually this one right here. I feel like Leos might not love celebrity perfumes because a lot of them don't really last that long on the skin. So they might feel like, oh, celebrity perfumes are a little cheapy. But the Rihanna Rebel Fleur perfume, this is a super, super long wearing perfume. Like this lasts a hundred million years on the skin. One of the only celebrity perfumes I feel lasts. That one in my Miami Glow by JLo. But Rebel Fleur by Rihanna is the perfect Leo scent. I feel like this is such a Leo bottle as well. Like look like large and in charge. This perfume honestly takes me back because I think this perfume came out like in 2010, which was the year I graduated. And it reminds me of like 
my life fresh out of high school. I love perfumes and how they just like take you back to a moment in time, it's crazy. But this is a very warm, delicious, intoxicating perfume as well. It's a bit sweeter than the perfume before, but it's still very warm and inviting. It has notes of patchouli, musk, amber, very fiery scents, but it also has vanilla and coconut in there and a little bit of fruitiness as well. There's some red berries, there's peach. It's such a great scent and it's also very fun and exciting and I feel like a party scent for sure. I don't know, I, it's very Leo-y to me, especially like this little cat. So such a Leo scent. Okay, and then for those Leos out there that love a sweet, 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 delicious, super intoxicating, I wanna eat you, I'm gonna rip these clothes off of you scent. Victor and Roth Bomb Bomb. Honestly, I need to get a new one. Mine is like hella expired, I've had this for years. But it still smells just as good as the day I bought it. This has been such a long, like lasting perfume. I've literally had this since Mississippi days and now is when I feel like it's going sour, but it still smells incredible. This is gourmand. This is yummy, edible. This has a very strong caramel note to it. If you don't like sweet scents, you will freaking hate this. I mean, it's literally in the shape of a bonbon, but it still has that very sexy element to it, which reminds me a lot of a Leo. It's not a childish perfume at all. It's not sickly sweet, it's not cheapy at all. Leos do not like cheapy sweet, they like sexy sweet. And I feel like this is very, very sexy and very unique. It doesn't smell like your typical sugary vanilla perfume. It has a very unique element to it and it lasts forever on the skin. Super long wearing and luxurious, very Leo-y. Okay, my Libras out there, my little flirty little Charming little Libras. Libras are ruled by Venus just like Taurus. So Venus is the planet of love by the way But unlike Tauruses like uh, Libras are way more romantic way more into like that Romance the glitz the glam the sparkle they like to show off but in a very different way than the Leo likes to show off They're very charming and very charismatic. They're also very fun. So easygoing lovely to be around. They're the peacemaker They don't like fighting they like to keep the balance and I personally really love Libras I guess it's the air sign in me this perfume screams Libra This is Oscar de la Renta Bella Rosa perfume Bella Rosa perfume and this is rose without being rose without being so early Earthy rose or too florally. This is a very sweet feminine rose, which is perfect for someone like me who doesn't typically love rose. This is the way that I love to wear rose. A lot of the times I'll actually mix Bella Rosa with the Lelabo Rose just to make this one even more long wearing because it's not as long wearing as that one. But it's such a beautiful rose scent that I, I wear it all the time. It has notes of orange, pink pepper, pink rose, jasmine, patchouli, amber, sandalwood. I really, really love scents with patchouli in them. It kind of gives it a more sexy grown up element to it. This is the perfect date night scent. Like if you're going on a first date, but you don't want to be like, too overpowering or to like come off too strong. This is like the perfect beautiful rosy scent and I love it. Speaking of romance, I had to pull this one out for Libras strictly because it's called Beyond Romance. This is Ralph Lauren's Beyond Romance and it really is such a romantic perfume. It has really soft scents like lily, raspberry, a few other florals to it, but then it becomes just really special with that vanilla and that cashmere and it just becomes so intoxicating. This scent, like the more it warms up to your skin, the more intense and like rich it becomes. It doesn't say it's like a gourmand, like edible scent, but it honestly feels like it is. I feel like this is the perfect boyfriend perfume. Like this is one I feel like boys typically love. Like it's sweet, it's yummy. You just wanna like cuddle someone when they're wearing this. It's very, very beautiful. But I can see this perfume not being for everyone. It might be too sugary for some of you. So it's definitely one that you have to check out before buying. It's definitely like one of my sweetest perfumes. Okay, and then the last perfume I have for Libras. I feel like this is such a Libra scent. This is the Byredo Bibliotheque perfume. This is a fairy tale in a bottle, guys. This is like a, like a story. <laughs> like truly a story time. I smell the leather in this. This does feel like a freaking library. This feels like a romance in a library. Like I just, I just, I, I fell in love with, with a man in a library, but it's a forbidden love, so we can only meet behind the romance books. And he shares his poems with me, and they're all about how we can't be together. And then we share a romantic kiss, but his like leathery, like yumminess lingers on my clothes. So I go home smelling like sweetness and like his leather. <laughs> it is so good. 
The notes are really simple on this perfume too. It's very, very fruity. Like immediately you smell that fruity freshness of it, but the musk and the patchouli and the vanilla, especially the leather note, it really pulls through and you get that combination of like leathery goodness, but like fresh fruity goodness. And I honestly think it's the perfect balance, which is why I feel like Libras would love it. It's like not too much of this and not too much of that. It's the perfect in between and it's romantic as hell. Even just the name, Bibliotheque. Bibliotheque. Come kiss me in the Bibliotheque. Oh my God, we're only halfway. We're only halfway. What was I thinking doing this video? It's freaking midnight. Ooh, okay, stay up, Kathleen. I have to wake up very early tomorrow. I have a 9 a.m. call. Let's, let's keep going. Oh my gosh, Virgos. I love you, Virgos. I love you, Virgos, because you guys, you guys are the designated drivers. You are the practical one. You're very similar to Taurus. Virgos are also an earth sign like Taurus. They're very practical, very simple. They like clean scents, simple scents. They don't like scents that are too overpowering or too strong. And a lot of the times they kind of like to stick to their signature scents. I don't think Virgos like to jump all over the place. They like to find something that works for them and they stick to it just like our Taurus friends. But they also like very woody, intense, very deep scents. I immediately think of Le Labo Santal 33 whenever I think of a Virgo. Funny enough, um, I love Sarai Karen here on YouTube. She's a Virgo and this is like her signature scent. Every time I've been around her, she is 100% wearing this perfume. And I feel like it's Karen in a bottle and Karen is such a Virgo but it's a very practical, dependable scent that's gonna last a kajillion, quadrillion million years on the skin. Um, it's very pricey, Le Labo is pricey, but you know, Virgos, they like the good stuff too. It's just that dependable scent that doesn't smell like too many things, it's not too complicated, it's simple, but it's very powerful. Virgos are very powerful. They like it simple, but they, they, they will beat you up. And, Get this, this isn't as close. This isn't as close of a dupe as this one is. Like this is an exact dupe of Baccarat. This is almost an exact dupe of Le Labo Santal 33. Like literally almost the exact same. It is crazy. This scent is really interesting, the Le Labo one, because it smells totally different on everyone. But the longer it's on your skin, the warmer it gets, the more intoxicating it gets. It's such a beautiful, like Santal scent, it's it's absolutely stunning. I feel like you Virgos would love it, especially if you want to make a lasting impression. I feel like that one is gonna leave a, a it's gonna leave an impression for sure. I still smell it in my nose from sniffing it. This one I have to I have to talk about this one. So Virgos are the virgins of the zodiac. Their symbol is very heavenly. Um, they're also known as the maiden of the zodiac, not, not the virgin, they're the maiden. When describing a Virgo, they say that the Virgo is a woman. You know how every sign ha is something? A crab, a goat, the Virgo is a woman. And they're just very motherly and nurturing. Virgos have that, that thing about them and honestly, to me, this is such a Virgo scent. This is Victoria's Secret Heavenly Angels. And I gotta be honest, Victoria's Secret scents don't really last that long on me, but Heavenly Angels really does. There are some scents that they have that actually last long, and this one is definitely one of them. It reminds me of weddings. This, I always say that this is the perfect bridal perfume. If you're getting married, this is your wedding day scent because it's not too strong, but it also leaves an impression, and it's so beautiful that I honestly think of like a beautiful woman when I smell it. It's so pretty. It's not like intense or musky. It's very soft, feminine, fresh, and floral, and just Honestly, so beautiful. It smells like gardenia. Oh, it's so heavenly. It really is. And then I also feel like this scent is perfect for Virgos because it is so simple and fresh, but also lasts a really long time. It's simple, fresh, and strong like our Virgo friends. This is Glossier U, and this is one of my favorite perfumes of all time, guys. When I tell you that I get compliment after compliment when I wear this perfume, it's not even funny. And the crazy part is, it's so simple, it has like two ingredients. I think it's like powder and musk. It's the perfect everyday perfume, very simple, yet really lasts an incredibly long time on the skin. One of my most long wearing perfumes in the whole world and just such a Virgo scent, I don't know. I feel like it's practical, simple, and the bomb. All right, Scorpios. This is 
is the first perfume I freaking thought of when I thought of a Scorpio. This is Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. I think this is my favorite perfume of all time. No, I'm lying. Gucci 2 is, but it was discontinued because um, the universe hates me and so yeah. But this is like my second perfume. My second favorite perfume of all time. This is the best, most intoxicating, intense, sexiest scent ever. This, for real, is sex in a bottle, even more than Gucci Guilty. This is the sexiest woman alive, let me tell you. It's sexy, it's rich, it's sweet, but like, I'm gonna beat you up and then give you a kiss right after. And then I'm also gonna steal your man while I'm at it. And your girlfriend, I'm gonna steal your man and then I'm gonna steal your girlfriend. It is really sweet, but honestly, in the sexiest way. It's not like childish. It is so grown up sweet and it lasts a million years on the skin. It's just so sexual, sexually sweet, yummy, like a true Scorpio. Scorpios are very mysterious, very deep, just like this perfume. They can tend to be a little sneaky and a little mysterious. They don't really like to open up to people that much. You don't get to really know a Scorpio until you really get to know a Scorpio, if that makes sense. And this is Scorpio, man. This scent is delicious. Another scent that instantly reminded me of Scorpios, even before I thought of doing this video, I remember the first time I smelled this perfume, I was like, I feel like this is such a Scorpio perfume. This is uh, the brand Juliet Has a Gun, and this is their perfume called Lipstick Fever. It's so crazy that this is called Lipstick Fever because I swear to you, this smells like lipstick to me. There's like a lipstick after scent. It's the perfect name. They honestly nailed it. It has only a few notes to it. It's a very simple perfume, but I really, really smell the raspberry and the patchouli in this, but it just reminds me of like a bad bitch in a leather jacket. like. This bee is wearing a leather jacket for sure with really intense hot red lipstick on. Really tall heels will crush your soul. That is the kind of woman wearing this perfume. And then my last Scorpio scent has to be Coco Mademoiselle. There's something about this perfume that truly screams Scorpio. Something about Chanel perfumes in general really screams Scorpio. Funny enough, my sister has been wearing Chanel Chance, she's a Scorpio, for literally like 15 years. I think more than 15 years. Since I was in middle school, this woman has been wearing the same perfume. I can't, I can't, I can't do that. The air sign in me will never allow that. But Chanel perfumes, are very, very Scorpion. Scorpios also love that luxe, expensive lifestyle. Definitely out of the three water signs, they're the most intense. They love those really elegant bad bitch scents. And Coco Mademoiselle really, really reminds me of that. It's not so much bad bitch as it is elegant and rich, but it just reminds me of a Scorpio. Like, don't you picture like, Kris Jenner wearing Coco Mademoiselle or just like an older scorpion woman. I feel like she's wearing Coco Mademoiselle. I don't know. Or Chanel number no. 5 or something. Okay, let's talk about my sad G's out there. They are the last fire sign. They're really intense as well. They love to party. Your Sagittarian friends will never turn down a party. They love to go out. They're also a lot of fun. My favorite thing about Sagittarius is though is that they're extremely optimistic. They are your most positive friends, almost like to an annoying level. Like I've had Sagittarian friends in my life where I've had moments where my world is like falling on top of me and it feels like the end of the world to me and somehow they'll convince me that it's not the end of the world and it definitely could be worse. They are just so positive, so uplifting and like the developed, more mature Sagittarians are very smart. They have, a, they're very wisdomous. Wisdomous? I'm not very smart, is that a word? You know what I mean? They are the philosopher of the sign and they're awesome. I love Sagittarius's, but they can be crazy as hell. They really can be just like wild. Wild, wild, they're so loud <laughs> and they're not for everyone. Definitely not for Virgos. I feel like Virgos and Saggies don't mix, but I've got some good Saggy scents for you. I wanna talk about the Nest fragrance called Sunkissed Hibis Sunkissed hibiscus because this is literally vacation in a bottle this is one of my favorite scents when it comes to these like aquatic coconut suntan kind of scents i find that it lasts forever on the skin it's not too like salty it's not too much like ocean suntan lotion it has the perfect balance the perfect mix and it honestly feels like you're on a tropical vacation while still giving you that elegance to it it's not just strictly a beach scent there is a very fancy elegance to it which i feel like is so sagittarius because they are the traveler of the zodiac they love to go on road trips and travel they're all about that travel life but they also love elegant scents and like more elegant perfumes so i feel like this is the combination of being elegant while on vacation. And then of course, this is such a saggy scent. Mine is like already like 
orange because I've had this one for a million years. This is Victor and Roth Flower Bomb. Of course, a cult classic. Mine is already smelling a little bit, a little bit sour. I have to let this one go. But Flower Bomb is such a Sagittarian scent because it's so much like a Sagittarius' personality. Really fun, really exciting, but like intense like a bomb, like so intoxicating and this lasts forever on the skin, really rich, but also really, really elegant. It is a more pricier perfume, but you definitely get what you pay for because it just sits beaut beautifully on the skin. You just, you, so intoxicating, you wanna smell it over and over and over again. I know it's like an oldie, but it's an oldie, but a goodie. 100% a goodie. Okay, and then the last fragrance for Sagittarius, I really wanted to mention Jo Malone perfumes in general because I feel like Sagittarians would love Jo Malone. It's a very elegant brand and they have so many different notes that you can kind of like mix in between. I feel like Sagittarius's love to mix up their scents as well. They like to spruce it up while still remaining very elegant and rich and classy and this one is called Mimosa and Cardamom. I feel like this is such a spicy Sagittarian scent. Very warm and spicy while still remaining elegant and just like Superior just such a beautiful scent. I feel like Jo Malone in general is so Beautiful, but I think that this one is just like very Sagittarius -y. Okay, my Capricorns out there my other little earth sign. This is my little misunderstood sign Capricorns don't believe in the zodiac. I feel like Every time someone tells me like oh my god, you believe in that signs aren't real. This is all fake It always comes from a damn Capricorn. And that's okay, you know, it's in the nature of the Capricorn. They always think that they're right. They are the know-it-all of the zodiac sign. But you know, a lot of the times they really do know it all. They're very, very smart. They're hard workers, dependable, stable, like a typical earth sign. But they are like the dorks. Not the dorks, but like the geeks, the nerds of the of the earth signs. They love working, they love learning. But a lot of the times they overwork themselves and they definitely work too hard. It's like all work, no play. Versus a Leo that's like all play. Play, no work they're like the exact opposite for that and they need to kind of learn how to loosen up a little bit but I honestly feel like the perfect scent for Capricorns are actually another Jo Malone perfume this is Blackberry and Bay this one is totally different than the one I just spoke about this is actually my favorite Jo Malone scent to ever exist that's why I have it in this big guy it is intoxicating rich it's feminine but I, I can see a man wearing this as well that bay leaf is very very strong in here as well and that's what gives it that like masculine like intoxicating element it's fruity but it's not like airy light fruity it's like serious fruity it's it's about to go to work it's gonna get down to business kind of fruity which is why it's perfect for Capricorns very dependable will last you a million hours so long wearing it warms up and it gets really really nice on the skin and I honestly like it the longer I wear it it's so freaking good now another one that's super intoxicating but doesn't last that long on the skin, at least on me. I hear so many people talk about how YSL black opium lasts on them. I don't know what it is about me, but it doesn't really last that much on me. This is the hair mist. I have the hair mist and the perfume, but I can't find the freaking perfume right now. I continue to buy this, guys because it smells so damn good because if it were up to me I wouldn't repurchase because I don't like the lasting power but oh my god it is worth it every time because it just smells so incredible this is another one of those sexy sweet perfumes it's kind of like on the same level as this guy this one's better because it lasts longer and it's a little bit more mature a little bit more grown up but this woman is also stealing your man by the way I don't promote stealing anyone's man I'm not trying to smell like a woman trying to steal someone's man but you get me like not that this woman is gonna steal someone's man but this but someone's man is gonna want to leave someone for this woman it's very sweet and sugary but it does have notes of like coffee in here which I think is what gives it that sexy badass element to it it's not just sweet there's like something else to it that makes it really really cool and uh, yeah I love it it's perfect for uh, Capricorns because a Capricorn is a bad bee. And then we gotta talk about Marc Jacobs Perfect. This is another Capricorn scent. Like, I'm thinking about all the Capricorns I know in my life and they would all absolutely love Marc Jacobs Perfect. It's a really delicious fruity scent, but there's something about it that just makes it so unique. I don't know if it's the rhubarb, um, cause I don't really have many scents with rhubarb in it. And there's also 
Narcissus. I don't know what that means. That's also another scent that I don't really see in many of my other perfumes, but it's a very, very unique scent. It's fruity without being like too airy and light. It's a, it's a sexy fruity and it's the perfect day to night scent. I feel like you can wear it in the day, but it's also deep and intense enough to wear it at night. I love the name for it because I feel like it's perfect for any season, any occasion, and just a dependable Capricorn-y ass perfume. Now it's time for the age of Aquarius, the age of Aquarius. Okay, so when it comes to Aquarians, it's very hard. It's very hard to limit a fragrance for them because I feel like you never really know what an Aquarius is thinking. You never really know what an Aquarius likes. They're all quite different, but I would say for the most part, Aquariuses tend to like like very unique scents, scents that other people aren't really wearing, something a little bit different. And honestly, the first perfume I thought of was the Nest Indigo scent. Indigo is literally Aquarius's, Aquarians in a bottle. It's crazy because there are a ton of notes in here that are in other their perfumes like bergamot and cardamom but I think the fig and the tea really really stand out it's so unique I don't have any other scents that remind me of this perfume and it kind of puts you in a trance it reminds me of a wet jungly forest it's kind of like both I don't know if it's a jungle or a forest I kind of picture both <laughs> it's a very deep scent. I said intense, but it's not super intense. It's more deep and soft like it makes an impression It lasts a very 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 long time, but it's still a very soft scent And I think it's very unique and pretty and I think Aquariuses would love it I actually heard about that perfume for the first time from an Aquarius So there's that. Okay, and then the last two scents I have for Aquarians are more of like funny. They're like funny. I feel like they're super Aquarius-y, but like on the funny side, cause you know, they're weird and stuff. This packaging screams Aquarius. I feel like us weirdos love little shit like this. This is a perfume I bought off of Ulta and I had never heard of this brand, but this is called Eau de Juice, and this is their Eau de Parfum spray in the scent, 100% chilled. I believe that's the name. They have two different ones, I believe. I think there's like a pink juice and then a blue juice. I literally bought this just for the packaging alone because I hadn't smelled this perfume yet. I just really loved the packaging. I thought it was so cute and unique and fun, and I just had to pick it up. But based off of the notes, I knew I was really going to love it, and it is a very, very sweet perfume. I was wearing it earlier. This kind of reminds me of Katy Perry's Meow. Do you remember that one? It has like a very strong vanilla sugary scent. Not like the most long wearing perfume, but very light and airy. Perfect for us air signs. And it's just so freaking cute. It's sweet, it's fruity, it's yummy, very fresh. You can't go wrong, it's super good. Like I love, love, love it. It just doesn't have the best lasting power, but I'll take it, cause it's so cute. And then there cannot be an Aquarius category without alien perfume. I know that the Aquarians are like the alien of the Zodiac, which is why I grabbed for this perfume, but I actually feel like based off the notes that Aquarius says would really like this. Funny enough, I don't love this perfume and I'm an Aquarius, but I think for me, it just doesn't go well with my body. Like there's something about this perfume that when it mixes with my body, it kind of gives me a headache. I think it is a little bit too intense and too rich for me, but it is very, very sexy. Like when I smell it in the bottle, I'm like, Oh, that'll smell so good on someone like so good. It's very sexy very intoxicating It is deep and rich, but it does also last a very 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 long time on the skin And this is that new like limited edition packaging, which I thought was so freaking cool So Aquarian this alien perfume is like uh, Aquarius as hell. Am I right? So good. Oh my god, we are almost done. We just have one last category, the Pisces. Pisces are very intense. I actually really, really love Pisces so much, but they are very emotional. They can be extremely sensitive, and sometimes when they get their feelings hurt, they can be really intense and kind of mean. They're definitely driven by their emotions, and sometimes their emotions get the best of them, but they are the most intuitive sign, so nurturing, so caring, so loving. They're just like the empath of the zodiac and they're the best they can be the worst but they're the best and honestly the first perfume i thought of when i thought of a pisces was gypsy water this is a perfume from byredo byredo is a very very pricey brand but their scents last so long on the skin and I personally feel like they have a very unique library when it comes to their fragrances I can't really find dupes for them anywhere. They're just so unique so stunning and gypsy water is one of their top I think it's their top selling perfume of all time. This is the perfect everyday scent 
It's so lightweight, so fresh, perfect for those of you who get headaches really easily. If you hate like really intense perfumes, this will be perfect for you because it's very soft, yet it does last a long time. It has a few notes in it that, that stand out to me. Like I smell the vanilla, the, the sandalwood, but what I mainly smell in this is the lemon and the pine needles and the juniper. I smell a little bit of that pepper. It's so like spicy fresh, it's woody. I really think that pine, really gives it that fresh element to it and to me it's like the perfect scent to wear all year round it's so like watery and so beautiful i think it's the perfect pisces scent funny enough i have another byredo scent for pisces honestly i didn't even realize that that happened but the byredo slow dance scent is so beautiful as well this one is completely different though this is a very pisces scent to me because it is so romantic they're the dreamers of the zodiac so they're like always lost in space they're they're always living in a different reality they're not in la la land the way that libras are in la la land they're in la la land in, in the sense that like their soul like their whole being lives in this fantasy world because the harsh realities of this world are just too much on their soul so <laughs> this scent just reminds me of an old vintage romantic film like when i close my eyes and i smell this i picture a really old vintage theater just like romance in the air there's vanilla patchouli and incense in this perfume and I really smell the incense and I also smell the cognac there's cognac in here which I think gives it that vintage old-school vibe it's just absolutely stunning and it's the kind of perfume that to me it doesn't smell so beautiful right away it smells better the longer it's on your skin when it warms up to your natural scent it just really just shows up and it's like it glows it's beautiful and then the last Pisces scent I have for you guys is actually a scent that the Pisces queen herself wears all the time, Rihanna, and I feel like she made this perfume famous. This is Love by Killian, Love Don't Be Shy by Killian, and this smells like crushed up sweet tarts to me, like a very, very sweet, very sugary, almost like syrupy, sickly sweet, but not, but not. A little goes a very long way. You only need a couple little spritz of this and immediately you smell it and it lasts a very, very, very long time, very intoxicating, but straight up just sweet sugary sweet tarts it's definitely edible like you your man is gonna want to eat you alive when you wear this it's very romantic feminine and intense and just yeah it reminds me of Pisces oh my god we're done I have to go to sleep it's like one o'clock in the morning I'm not even kidding I hope you liked going through all of the signs with me and listening to me ramble about perfumes I could honestly talk about perfumes forever. I feel like that's what I did right now. I'm sorry that this video is over 30 minutes long, but it was honestly so much fun. Leave me a comment down below letting me know if you want me to do an updated perfume collection video because I have gotten quite a few more perfumes, gotten rid of some of them, and I feel like I have a whole uh, new collection. So let me know if that's something you want or, or you're like over the perfume videos for now. Let me know, but that completes this video, guys. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.